Hello artists, today we're going to make some Chinese cherry blossom trees and we're going to make them very random. You will either have your watercolor set and the only color we're using at the moment is black, which is on the end, or you might have one of these little single watercolors to use. We will have water, messy matte paper, and a straw. Name on your paper and flip it over. Your paper might be a little longer than your messy mat, that's okay. Before we do our art room magic, you need to get your brush wet and you're going to add a few drops of water to your black paint. So make a little puddle and stir. And we're going to paint a long curvy branch. You need to start at the end and go really far on your page. If it looks a little gray, just put a little more paint on it. I want this to go really far. Now for the little branches, we want them to be random. That's why we have the straw. I will show another option in case the straw method is too difficult for you. What we're going to do is make sure your paint is really wet and then we're going to paint a little branch and you put a little dot, you kind of poke it. You want this to be like a little bubble or a little dome of paint. Then we take the straw and it goes in your mouth and you're blowing air. We're not blowing spit. And you aim it at the paint, it's not going in the paint, and blow and then the paint will explode. You can also change directions and it will go different ways. It's very important though, get the paint really wet, paint a little branch, and then you poke to make those little bubbles so the paint stands up. Sometimes it'll explode directions that you don't anticipate, that you don't expect, that's okay. If the blowing is too difficult for you, you can always paint your little branch and you still make your little bubble of paint. And instead of blowing, you can kind of tap your paper, shake it different directions, and that will still make it travel. It just looks a little different than when you blow. And when it's time to put branches on the bottom, just turn your paper around. Thank you. 